Let's talk about KJ's commands and training tools so that you can stay consistent at home. The first thing we're going to talk about is the heel. Heel is on your left side. Her shoulder should be about aligned with your left leg on a nice loose leash. About 85 to 90% of the time in your walks, she's going to be in this position. The other 10 to 15% of the time, she can sniff, go potty, explore, just be a dog, as long as she's not pulling you on that leash. This is the prong collar. This is what I've been using in KJ's training. So to take this apart, you simply grasp one prong in your right hand, the next prong in your left, and pull down. It doesn't take a lot of pressure, it's more about the leverage that you apply. So put this on, it goes nice and high up under her chin, behind her ears, and you simply pinch this prong and slot it into the next prong. The leash then attaches to this top ring. All of your corrections with the prong collar are going to be a quick pop and release. You don't want to put, apply, put constant tension on it, you don't want to pull on it, it's just a quick pop and release. So if she gets ahead of you in the heel, you're going to tell her no, give a quick pop on the leash, and tell her heel again, that should bring her back into position. So it's no, pop, heel. Bring treats with you, especially on your first few walks, so that you can reward her when she is in the appropriate position. So when she's in the correct heel position, you can reward for that good behavior. The next thing is the sit. We use an implied stay with all of our commands, which means that we don't use the word stay. It's implied that she stays there until we give her another command or a free. For example, with door manners, you walk up to the door, she sits, you open the door, she stays sitting until you tell her free to go through ahead of you or heel to walk through with you. This is a short duration stay. It shouldn't be used for long durations because she'll get tired or bored and lay down. Down is a longer duration stay. When you are rewarding in a down, put the treats either on the floor or right under her chin, reward nice and low, so that she doesn't have to reach up to get those treats. If you tell her to down and she doesn't down, you're going to pop low and to the side rather than up like with the heel. So if you tell her down, she doesn't down, it's no, pop down to the side, down. Always return to her to reward and to release. You don't want to release from a distance because that will weaken the strength of that stay. You always want to release her from next to her. The next command is place. Place is a boundary stay, meaning that all four paws have to be within the boundary of the bed. We use a raised platform bed for this because it does have very clear boundaries for them. Always reward on the bed itself. The bed should be the thing that produces the treats because that's what we want to be the most rewarding. And just with the down, return to her to release her from, that, the, from the place. With come when called, you always want to have a leash on when you're practicing. When you call her, it's going to be a very clear KJ come that she can hear. Praise her as she comes back to you and have her sit and reward her when she gets to you. You always want to reward this command because you want them to always come back to you. You want it to be very rewarding for them. If she chooses not to come back to you, for whatever reason, she got distracted, you're going to tell her no, give a quick pop on the leash, and tell her come again. And just as before, you always want to reward this command even if she made a mistake and didn't come back on the first try because you always want her to get rewarded for this command. This prong collar should only be worn when she does have a leash attached. It shouldn't be worn just around the house every day. It should only be worn when there is a leash on. So next, let's look at some of KJ's commands.